Yo, check it out all. So today, the topic of the discussion today we have here is how the fucking modern day companies are using a variety of methods to monitor our fucking data as we are their users uh, and the dangers of it. It's a little bit of a touchy discussion to be honest, but uh, I can take you through the process how these uh, fuckers are tracking us down. So the only way, uh, one of the common ways they are tracking us down is by tracking the cookies. What happens is they are a form of a small data that are placed in our devices like mobile phones and computers uh, when we visit their website. And uh, our browsing, browsing behavior uh, and uh, the way we, 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 we visit their website has been tracked. That way they can actually target us what kind of ad to show us and how can they personalize the contents and shit like that. Obviously, if you're looking at some sort of uh, clothing brand or you're trying to uh, get some food ordered, you're going to get more ads about a food or a specific uh, clothing types. Uh, more likely not just on that platform but in other many platforms as well another common way of uh, uh, being tracked is location tracking many of the apps these days actually have their gps service or location based uh, services are enabled uh, on the user's location so what happens is this uh, data it can be actually served to uh, show us the ad contents uh, as you are being constantly tracked by these uh, platforms or the websites and they can also be shared or rented uh, with the third party companies or even the governments for surveillance purposes. So if somebody wants to have an access of your location or your behavior or where do you go in the morning or what time you go to a certain location, how much time you spend there, that can be actually easily tracked without you knowing uh, that it is going on. So another thing you've got to be careful is search and browsing history. Uh, many of the tech companies actually they collect the data of you, what you've been searching in the platform or uh, Even outside of the platform or what you've been browsing what sort of uh, contents you've been looking for or what what intrigues you the most or uh, So that they can actually use this data to personalize their search result target you some sort of ad and also uh, They want to track your interests and behavior patterns uh, which is kind of crazy. Uh, another thing you've got to be careful is uh, social media activity. Uh, many of the tech companies actually collect data of the users uh, uh, of social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those fuckers, you name it, there's, there's no good guy or bad guy in this game. It's all about a data game. Data game is the most corrupted game in the fucking world right now. I'll tell you that. So this actually can include your post, your likes, your shares and comments uh, and this data can be actually targeted uh, to show you again more ads and personalize you more contents. Uh, but you can also be used to monitor your political and social views. All right, this is kind of uh, a next level uh, tracking activities because uh, depending on the social media activity, they would like to know or they, they would actually share those data with the third party uh, parties uh, on what your political inclinations are and what your social views are on certain topics of discussion or uh, how biased you are or let's say what kind of political ideations you believe in or religious faiths and values you have all those sort of things uh, now you also have something called user generated content so uh, this is something make many many fucking tech companies use to collect uh, uh, what we call is fucking user generated contents it's just like as emails the photographs or video uh, they can actually use this data to personalize your service and monitor your personal life pretty much your relationships or who you fucking with and who you sleeping with or what you're interested in all the sort of fucking cre creepy fucking things uh, user-generated contents uh, pretty much look for example 
I'll give you an idea. When YouTube earlier started, it used to be a platform where um, users used to actually post the contents and literally the video made out of the user database created the whole platform of a giant YouTube itself. Uh, they actually didn't do shit, just like the TikTok, you name it. Instagram, Facebook, is the users actually submitting their data into the platform and the platform just gets richer and richer and stronger than ever and they control how you fucking think, how you fucking eat, how you fucking shit and where you go, who you sleep with, what you're entitled to know and what you're not entitled to know. So uh, we, we're going to make another video. Look, the video is getting a little longer and longer as we go. So I, I wanted to give you my thoughts on, on how these platforms are or even tech giants are tracking it down. But I wanted to talk briefly about the misuse of data. How the fuck this data can be misused or, or how can it actually uh, impact you in a way. So let's keep this nice and short. So what could go wrong if these data is they're actually fucking controlling or they're actually uh, keeping with themselves? Uh, what happens is fucking major data breaches. Like you've seen a lot of fucking data breaches going on these days. The Cold War is on pretty much. Look, uh, since after the Huawei uh, drama with China and and the Ukraine crisis, uh, there has been a lot of cyber attacks in the background. Uh, many of the tech companies actually has fallen through. Uh, major banks, major fucking telecommunication sectors have been impacted. You name it, the healthcare sectors. A lot of things going on in the background, guys. So when none of the tech companies are actually immune to this sort of data breaches so just as a result your personal information uh, can be actually exposed you'd be you're literally sitting there fucking butt naked bent over by these companies because they are not fucking uh, protecting your data as they are meant to be and the hackers and and the cyber criminals w would have this information that you're uploading in their platform easy as Another thing is the selling of data. Uh, what happens is this fucking tech giants or tech companies, uh, they actually sell your data to third party uh, providers uh, uh, or what they call is renting the fuck out of it uh, uh, to target the, the, the advertising and other, other third party providers uh, uh, and other fucking unknown purposes, uh, which can be actually uh, a violation of your user privacy again. Uh, but hey, you are just a minor fucking ant. They can just delete you, silence you, or fucking mute you, or kick you out of the platform the more noise you make. So, yeah, your data can be actually sold or rented without you knowing it's being done. Another thing is political manipulation. What can happen is some of the tech companies actually are actually have been criticized for uh, letting um, their platform to be used for political manipulation spreading a lot of disinformation and uh, influencing a lot of elections you've you've seen what happened with uh, uh, the bit of a hoax with the John, Donald J Trump uh, with his election back then when when how uh, mass was uh, be, being being brainwashed uh, uh, by Russia that was the the topic of discussion um, but hey I'm not gonna go into that topic on this video again but yeah you can easily be manipulated into certain sort of inclinations or ideologies using social media data if it has been misused in a form discrimination uh, can also actually happen in this sort of scenario uh, because of your data because what happens is um, these social media giants actually they can actually discriminate against certain groups uh, by showing them different prices uh, or, or even contents based on their location age and other factors so uh, for them you're just a fucking number you know it's easy as that. There are many other things, guys, in depth. Look, I don't want to keep this video going forever. Look, uh, there would be more video coming up. Look, uh, depending on how this uh, uh, fucking video uh, takes over. But maybe I'll fucking put on a live show or a couple of cameras going on as well. Uh, but that's nearby future. Uh, hit that fucking subscribe button. And stay tuned. Stay fucking safe. Stay fucking dangerous, eh? And, and 
Above all, it is very important uh, that you're aware of how this social media giant or big tech is actually collecting your data and your, your, how your online privacy is being compromised. I hope you find this fucking video helpful in any form or any ways. So I'll see you guys in another fucking video. Adios, amigos.